talk more about Noctilucent and Clouds. We turn things over to CBS 13's Dave Bender. He joins us live outside in East Sacramento to explain this mystery tonight. Dave? All right, well, Noctilucent clouds are, are they're, they're natural occurrences, except what happened tonight most likely, either man-made or something like maybe a meteor came in and, and caused it. But take a look at some of these images of natural Noctilucent clouds, and we'll talk about where they are located. They're the highest type of clouds you can find. They're up in the mesosphere, up at about 50 miles up. And what they do is you generally will see these things called night shining clouds or Noctilucent clouds right around sunset. But the sun has to be far enough down out past the horizon that when you bounce that light off of that cloud at 50 miles up, you're on the receiving end of what looks like a glowing cloud up in the sky, and that is how they are formed. They really weren't uh, acknowledged by uh, meteorologists in about the late 1800s, and off and on they've been trying to study these things, but a lot of times a, a rocket will do that. It'll go up, and when those boosters go off, it sort of heats up the atmosphere rapidly, and then it cools rapidly and creates the cloud, and if they do it at sunset, you end up with a noctilucent cloud made by man. They normally happen in summer. That's why most likely this uh, was some result of something either entering the atmosphere or possibly leaving the atmosphere. Back to you. Hey, thank you. And our team is continuing to dig deeper into this phenomenon. For all the latest, head to our website, cbs13.com.